children. Third planet in the solar system. It moves around the sun and gets heat and light from it. We all live on this earth. Our earth is our home. Our earth is very huge. It gives shelter to all the living things like human beings, animals and plants. Our earth has sufficient weather and climate that suits all the creatures. It has land masses and water bodies. Water occupies 71% of the planet and land a mere 29%. Have you ever observed the globe, a model of earth to know this fact? The main land portions on the earth's surface separated by enormous water bodies are called continents. There are seven continents. Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, Europe, North America and South America. The land on earth does not have the identical surface everywhere. It has mountains, plains, valleys, forests, deserts, rivers, waterfalls plateaus, etc. Asia is the largest continent and Australia is the smallest continent in the world. All these continents are separated by expanses of water which are called oceans. The oceans in the world are five, namely Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Antarctic Ocean and Arctic Ocean. The bottom of the ocean consists of rocky area with mud, sand, silt, plains, plateaus, deep valleys and high mountains etc. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean and the smallest is the Arctic Ocean. The world's deepest trench is the Mariana Trench lying at a depth of 10,911 meters. Our earth is round or spherical in shape. The top and bottom of the earth are flattened the end points of the earth are called North Pole and South Pole. Due to the spherical shape of the earth, we cannot see the whole earth through space or satellite. Also, it is very big to view the entire earth at once. So, we have made the models of earth like globe, map, etc. Globe. Globe is a small spherical shaped model of earth. We can see the continents, oceans and countries on this globe. A globe can represent the earth in simple and accurate way. It shows the entire surface of the land and water bodies along with the mountains, plains, valleys, countries, etc. We can even see the other half part of the earth on the globe by rotating it. Even then, the globe has certain limitations. Due to the smaller size of the globe, the details cannot be obtained. It is difficult to make or carry the globe of large size. It is not possible to zoom and view a particular part of the earth with details. It cannot provide all the information about political, geography, rivers, industries, etc. all at a time. 
map is also a smaller representation of the earth on a flat surface map is the word derived from the latin word mappa which means napkin or painted cloth flemish map maker gerardus mercator was the first person to publish atlas atlas is a collection of all the maps in detail we can even draw the map on a flat surface with more details than the globe drawing a map also has some limitations the earth is spherical in shape on maps as we see the spherical earth only on a flat surface the curved areas of the earth cannot be visualized accurately except for this reason the map is very useful than the globe to study about the earth maps can also show mountains plateaus valleys plains rivers oceans even maps can show the population forest areas rainfall wildlife crops minerals etc in detail we can read the map only if we know certain symbols and colors used in the map map reading is the art of getting clear information to understand the entire information on the map it is better to study the language of map also world maps continent maps country maps outlines political industries rainfall etc are the different kinds of maps directions the map consists of the directions on the top of it the map should always be placed in the north direction the top refers to north direction opposite to north direction is south our right is east and the left is west a navigator who navigates the ship uses a map for identifying the land area scale the earth is very large but the models of earth like globe and map are very small in size to calculate the distance between the two places like chennai and hyderabad accurately we use a scale the ratio between the distance on the map and the distance on the ground is known as the scale of the map maps are drawn according to these scales signs and symbols different symbols are used in maps to give vivid information the symbols of different things on the world are mentioned clearly through varied colors and symbols the land boundaries are given in thick dashes and dots in black international boundary state boundary district boundary metalled road unmetalled road footpath broad gauge rail line narrow gauge rail line airway towns bridge river stream capital city dam telegraph office fort temple church mosque grass and shrub forest post office well and tank colors in the map different colors are used in maps to show various things on the map generally these colors 